Visitors, how quaint. Has Judgment Day finally come? Yeah, stop hiding, you salmon-colored funk. As you wish. So, my jailer returns with five visitors. No less thrilling. What do you need from Henry Miller? The Void Walker. Oh, how amusing. If you think there's any hope of saving my poor, fragile little soul, you're mistaken. Oh, no. I just hit a club of you a fuck ton of times. Over the head. William. Oh, how bitter. You've finally found me, and you've decided to join the others in killing me. Fancy that. I sure have, Henry. My god, I just... You really pulled the wall over my fucking eyes. You know that? I don't know what you did to my head, but... I can't forgive you for what you've done. But what you done to me, and everyone else? This has been a long time coming. What I've done? You helped me. William. Every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Or likely, I could've. With another human meat shield. Or, apologies, whatever you are. You look about as human as the rabbit suit that you used to wear. I never figured out exactly what you were. But a human, you are not. Oh, what do we have here? A gigantic, soulless, orange infant, two rotary phones, a sock puppet. The purple Muppet Baby that the world tried to forget, and the dog of Christmas past. I'm Dr. Henry Miller, and I'm going to teach you all what you failed to learn the first time I slaughtered each and every one of you. Just try and stop me, you photo-negative canine. Uh, uh, uh. Attacking with physical blows. How crude and ineffective. I prefer to use honesty, whenever possible. Steven, your death was meaningless. An impulse. Part of a bet that William and I had. You died for nothing. Holy fuck.
to address the other absurd telephone man here, as if one wasn't enough. Your own family died just to get away from you. You were an orphan, yes, but that includes your own siblings too. You meant more to the world as a phone-headed boss at a fast food restaurant than you did to your f one of those dead this. And yet, my influence, the culmination of Say, I'm going to miss you, Sportsy. I... I won't go. I can't go. I can't lose both you and Henry. You have a tangerine to my ambition, the Clementine to my own marriage line. I'm not strong enough to go alone, not again. Sportsy, what? What did you just give me? You're so... Oh, sport, I... I don't know what to say, I... So, this is it, then, I guess this is goodbye. Dave... You are a complete and utter weirdo. It shouldn't be at all hard to say goodbye to you. And yet... It is. Sportsy, I... Goodbye, William. I hope you can find peace with what you've done. Goodbye, old sport. Thanks for putting me back together. Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network. This just in, a local restaurant by the name of Freddy Fazbender's Pizza has reportedly burned down in the early hours of this morning. The restaurant was known for its large bust of a blue rabbit's head above the door of the restaurant. The restaurant was a local hit the last official franchise Freddy Fazbender Pizza location. No human casualties were recorded, 
with the exception of the restaurant's owner, Mr. Jack Kennedy. Kennedy's charred remains were retrieved from the wreckage by the Los Angeles Fire Department. On his body, wrapped in fireproof laminate, was a last will and testament. The will contained a request to the city council to convert his land into a graveyard post-mortem, dedicated to the numerous children who had lost their lives in various Freddy Fassbender locations. The final line of the will reads, My final wish is for five gravestones to be built on site, for five souls who desperately deserve a proper burial, and ultimately to be remembered for who they really were. As always, I'm Alan Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on this wild ride to the end. This is Alan Johnson, signing off.